Hi everyone, Phil Hoskins here, Managing Director of Marvel Gold, here to present our new story as a Mali focused gold explorer. Just clicking through the disclaimer. Um, over the last four or five months, uh, we've developed some significant land holdings across two acquisitions. Um, the first of which was a deal with Alta Strategies, uh, the second with ASX listed Oclo Resources. And what we've assembled is a, a portfolio of assets that uh, stem from an existing resource. We've got uh, advanced gold exploration in Lacamfleur and um, and some other pipeline assets um, with walk-up drill targets that will also be advancing throughout the year. We've also assembled assembled a balanced board, um, exploration focused with two geologists um, and some corporate and financial expertise. Uh, uh, Andrew Party, the ex sentiment CEO, has also joined our board as a non-exec director. Um, quite a high caliber appointment for a company of our size and I think we've got the right team to, to move forward and add value through exploration in Mali. Uh, the two main projects I'll talk about today, the Tabacaroli project, uh, where we've recently come out with a 910,000 ounce resource, um, an excellent result since uh, it was only a 600,000 ounce resource at the time we took the project over. Uh, we've also um, added to that land holding over the last few months and um, uh, there's a developing regional exploration opportunity there. Um, and the very exciting new target style at Lacamfleur that we're currently uh, drilling at the moment, um, which has um, yeah, very good upside potential and um, look forward to talking about that. Just as a quick corporate overview, just over 400 million shares on issue. Um, as we sit here today, it's a uh, yeah, $25 million market cap, um, over $3 million in the bank at the end of September for a, quite a low enterprise value. Uh, capital DI or, or Capital Drilling, one of our largest shareholders, uh, very supportive and, and quite active in Mali. Um, and the board, as I spoke about here, a good mix of corporate and financial expertise um, and mining expertise with West African uh, gold exploration expertise as well. Just a quick summary about where the projects are within Mali. Uh, it's around 800 square kilometres across five different land holdings. The main asset I'll be talking about firstly is Tabacaroli down here in the south of Mali. Uh, that came in firstly via our transaction with Alta Strategies and more recently bulked out in the deal with Oclo Resources. Uh, the second project I'll talk about is uh, La Camfer over here uh, at the northern part of the Senegal Mali Shear Zone, which has been responsible for uh, a number of uh, uh, large gold discoveries over the last many years. So just on to Tabacaroli, from a structural point of view, we're down in the south of Mali here. Um, we've got a very large structure, the Banatin Shear Zone coming through the south of Mali here. Uh, it's also the structure of the uh, seven million ounce Marilla deposit uh, recently, the subject of a transaction from Barrick uh, to Mali Lithium uh, is a display off that, and, um, and Tabacaroli uh, is also a second order structure coming off that same Banapin shear zone. Um, capital drilling, we mentioned uh, one of our largest shareholders has a, a base here in Baguni, and, and there's a number of uh, our land holdings at Yan Faleta and Colin Diaber, which we should be able to um, explore uh, quite well out of that base. Just zooming in, Tabacaroli does have uh, an existing resource. When we took it over, it was 600,000 ounces at, uh, at one gram per tonne. Uh, there'd been some historical drilling there and, and we've also conducted a 1500 meter program uh, more recently and that's now grown to a, a 910,000 ounce resource uh, at 1.2 grams per tonne, so an excellent result. Uh, you can see in the inset map here, uh, the land holdings um, and, and the inset is, uh, is this little area here. Um, so the, uh, the resource is the, the red outline. Um, it is open in both directions. Uh, we've identified a 600 metre strike extension uh, to the northwest, originally through ground magnetics. That's the, uh, the red outline you see there um, and through air core drilling. Uh, that air core drilling also um, gave us a, quite a, an excellent result in air core six metres um, at 6.2 grams per tonne. Uh, the air core has basically confirmed to us that uh, this extension is mineralised and we'll look in future programs to go back and, and add to the resource. Uh, further down here in the southeast, uh, the deposit also uh, also is open uh, along strike. Uh, there's also numerous places, it is open to depth, um, there's numerous places along the strike length where, uh, where the deposit um, is constrained by drilling. 43% um, of the resource sits within 100 metres of surface. Uh, we do believe this project will be opened, uh, amenable to open pit mining. Um, and uh, but that's not what we're about at the moment. This is an exploration story. We've only uh, put eight holes in it. Uh, it's a resource growth story and, and how big this thing can get um, outside of these strike extents depends on uh, on the, uh, the regional picture, which I'll go through on the next slide. Uh, this tenement you see here uh, on the right is the, um, 
the original Tabacaroli license that came in through the Alta Steel. Uh, the tenements here on the left uh, came through from Mokolo Resources and uh, this is that structural corridor or, or second order structure coming off the Banneford Shear Zone I mentioned earlier. Um, the resource sits uh, right up here on the northwestern corner. Now, some of these structures we interpret as continuing into the tenement next door, which has had practically no work. Um, there are uh, snips around the property down here, the T1 target, um, over about 400 metres, not enough to, to go into a resource just yet, but it's had one of the best hits on the property, 14 metres at 9.8 grams per tonne. Um, so we're quite confident that there'll be other satellite deposits around the place. Um, but to get to that point, we need to undertake systematic exploration. Uh, what that's going to involve is uh, we'll have four soils crews uh, doing multi-element soil geochemistry, uh, following up with ground magnetics over the anomalous areas. Um, and by the end of Q1 of next year, uh, we'll have uh, hopefully delineated a number of other anomalous zones where we can firstly go in and, and de-risk those with air core drilling and then follow up with uh, either RC or diamond drilling. So that's the regional picture. Uh, more immediately uh, in this quarter, Q4, uh, we'll be going in and doing a minimum of uh, 2,500 metres to, to just test those strike extensions and a uh, resource extension program. Um, so yeah, that'll be starting towards the end of the fourth quarter. Uh, just moving on into the second project, the Lecanfla Gold project. As I mentioned earlier, this is in the northern part of the Senegal Mali shear zone. Um, and it's quite important, the sort of regional setting here. The outline uh, around here is the, uh, the Sadiola mining license. Uh, Sadiola is one of the largest gold deposits in Mali. Uh, over 13 and a half million ounces um, and quite importantly um, uh, you tell her a four and a half million ounce deposit um, sits 30 kilometers up strike and the Senegal Mali shear zone runs uh, straight through these sets of licenses. Um, our Lecanfla license is 24 square kilometers uh, set as a um, uh, as an enclave into that uh, Saudi Island mining license here. The reason that we've called out Yatella uh, is that it is a, a direct analog for the uh, the target style uh, that we're looking for at Lecanfla. Uh, that target style is called a cast target. Um, this image here uh, shows the geology. So a cast is essentially a, a granite intrusion coming into, um, uh, into carbonate rocks, uh, those carbonate rocks uh, dissolving over time and, and then the gold um, in, the carbon, in the granite intrusion and in the carbonate rocks um, eventually forming a super gene enrichment zone at the, at the bottom. Uh, this is exactly the processes that took place uh, at Lecamp for further to the north, sorry, um, at Yatella further to the north, um, and I'll quickly just show the, the geology and um, gravity signatures that make us believe this has happened here. You've got a granite intrusion that's come in, this pink thing here. You've got the light blues around the outside of the carbonate rocks. Now, normally, these light blues would, in a gravity uh, survey, look hot pink or hot red, uh, high, intense, uh, high density rocks, but you can see around the granite intrusion, uh, they're showing up as a, a gravity low. So something's obviously happened to those rocks we move on to the next slide, uh, what we believe has happened, and when you read the technical papers at Yatella, uh, what has happened up there is that these rocks have been cooked up over time. Um, and then uh, what is hoped is that the gold in the system uh, has worked its way uh, through the, the collapsed uh, rocks and, uh, and other transported material that's blown in over time uh, down into a super gene enrichment zone at the bottom, which could be very high grade and, um, and quite a, a large target uh, size as well. Um, so this, this is actually a splice drawn across the, the gravity lows and the granite intrusion. Uh, there's over seven kilometres of gravity lows here, so quite a significant strike. And there has been historic drilling uh, near surface into the granite intrusion. Um, it's proved there's gold in the system, which is great. Uh, that gold needs to leach off into, um, into those dissolved rocks and um, to be able to form that super gene enrichment zone. Uh, so we're drilling this right now, an 18-hole, uh, 3,800 metre program. Um, I'll quickly talk about target zone one, uh, as you'll see here. Um, on either side of target zone one, you've got gold mineralization. So you've got a number of mineral mineralized trends and the most heavily mineralized part of the granite intrusion uh, on one side. And on the other side, the yellow hatched area is a two by two square kilometer uh, set of artisanal workings. And, and what we hope is that the gold has shedded into that, uh, uh, into that over time. Uh, it is a reconnaissance program. Like I said, it's a seven kilometer. Uh, strike length and um, 3,800 metres. Um, yeah, there's barely enough to um, uh, to be able to test that. So uh, big gaps. We hope we can vector in on on where there is some um, uh, some economic concentrations of gold, uh, but we're certain there'll also be follow up programs required. So just to summarise, uh, we've got a, a heavy work program going forward. 
Um, the investment highlights for us is that we believe our valuation is uh, is more than underpinned by what is a significant resource we've defined at Tabacaroli, a uh, 910,000 ounce draw resource that we believe has excellent growth potential, uh, both a long strike in both directions and at depth. Um, how big that gets will depend on the regional exploration opportunity um, and our ability to add other, other tenements and things over time. Um, so what we believe that leaves us is quite leveraged to any exploration success at the camp. Um, a, a very big upside, it certainly has the same footprint um, as a Yatella, uh, that's the potential, um, but we'll only know through drilling. So um, yeah, very good uh, potential exploration upside for us. Um, but what we will continue to do uh, on the other properties and pipeline opportunities that we have uh, is undertake systematic exploration. It is quite an underexplored country, Mali. Um, we're very happy to be there, and um, but we're quite surprised at uh, the amount of work that's gone into um, into a number of the properties over time. So, yeah, we'll be undertaking multi-element soil, geochem, ground magnetics, working up strata, uh, new targets, and um, yeah, we look forward to uh, uh, drilling those with air core later in the field season, probably Q2 next year. Uh, just to sum up, uh, summarise, um, our, our projects are held uh, through a number of joint ventures and. Uh, this is a slide that, um, that sets those out here. So uh, thanks very much for your time. Uh, hope to see you through the EMEA conference at 121 uh, and uh, talk to you more about the excellent opportunities, Marble Gold. Okay, thank you. Bye.